In this country, we pride ourselves in the fact that we're a free country. In fact, our Constitution was founded upon that principle. And yet the sad reality is, the irony is that in, in this country, there's anywhere from one to 300,000 slaves in this country, the United States. Uh, we need to do something to stop that. It comes as a shock to a lot of Americans that in their own community, in their own cities, that young people, as young as 12, 13, 14 years old, boys and girls, are being forced to sell their bodies for the profit of someone else. They're brought from cities around the United States and they're brought from around the world to satisfy the appetites of individuals who have no compassion or concern for the future and life of a young person. Anyone who's forced into prostitution is a victim, and I believe that's most of the people in the sex trade. So whether she's being coerced into it at the age of 24 or the age of 14 is immaterial. Coercion is coercion. Rape is rape. If we're looking at uh, prostitution uh, in Seattle, Washington, what we're looking at is the average girl begins turning tricks when she's 13 years of age. He raped me and then brought the other men in and they took turns and just kept raping me. I was seven and my father raped me and then two years later I was nine and that was the first time that I was sick for sex. Kids are captured and forced into street and internet prostitution and we need to set a new norm in our city and in our country that that's just a line we are not going to allow people to step over. I don't want to hurt people, but there's a part of me inside that does. That's the horrible thing. Like it's somewhere inside that just, just only wants to feed itself. That's right. Decent men who do not buy people, who do not buy sex, have to come forward. Decent men can no longer be silent. They can no longer be bystanders. I was aware and appreciated the efforts that our police department was doing. In fact, they, they renamed their unit the Vice and High Risk Victims Unit because the renaming actually reflected a change in philosophy. Instead of viewing these young women as criminals, they were being treated as victims. And so that meant the philosophy of the department and, and how we work changed. We know these juveniles are not out here on their own will. They're, they're being forced out here, so they are the true victims. The suspects are the pimps, the ones that are pushing them. Now that we've, we've recognized that, and we are trying to change that, the way that police and law enforcement look at prostitution, and we know that <clears throat> these girls, this is not their choice of life. Nobody your age chooses to be out at 1.30 in the morning in the freezing freaking weather walking up and down on the highway. You're doing it because somebody's making you do it. When I think of these pimps, I, I just, no other, the best word to describe them in my mind is they're psychopaths. It's just they have no empathy uh, for what these girls go through. Uh, these girls are strictly money for them. You know, it's funny how y'all act all tough with these broads, and then y'all get a man in your face, you act like little girls. I'm also trying to convince you of something, that we actually care, and there's a lot of cops out here that don't. And with all of us be involved in a rescue center that this guy driving the police car started from the ground up? Probably not. So we do actually care. We started out here about eight hours ago in the grand opening of the drop-in center here. And just now, about 30 minutes ago, we checked in the first two girls, sisters, a 16-year-old and a 15-year-old, that have been trafficked for the last five days. We got them out of the life, the pimps in jail, and then we're gonna just continue our investigation from here. And they're gonna be here and taken care of by the volunteers and the staff here. They're gonna have uh, food, clothing, they can have a bed if they wanna sleep. They can watch TV if they want. They're going to get some counseling. They're going to get resources given to them. And most of all, they're going to get some, some people who care about them and not going to try to exploit them. And now you're in the Jess Project? Yeah. Um, thank you. I'm thankful for everybody here. That's why we want to get this center to get you guys where you want to go, where you want to be safe. 
all the cops are involved, keep you safe. They're buying somebody's daughter. You know, they're buying somebody's child. You know, whether that child is 18 or 19 or 14 or 12, that's somebody's child. You're not a good man, and you're not a loyal man, okay? You are not a man. No girl grows up saying, hey, I want some guy to slobber on me. That ain't just some piece of meat. It's a human being. Just lust. Oh,